What do you see as the most urgent financial issues facing, facing Portage Township, and how could you how could you help address them? Um, the most urgent uh, issues. Let's see. Um, I know that the financial issues. Financial issues. Um, uh, I personally have experienced um, being involved with the uh, sewer project, and uh, that you know was a, a large amount of money borrowed, um, and taxes, you know, tax rates increased, on, and now we're paying for the loan for. 30 years or 40 years, um, I'd like the people to have the ability to not, you know, to understand that maybe these things shouldn't be mandated on them, um, and large expenditures to be top-down planning, um, you know, and how they affect taxpayers. I, I would like to see more grassroots involvement in those decisions. Thank you. Miss Little, same question. Could you repeat the question, please? Yes. What do you see as the most urgent financial issues facing Portage Township? How could you help address them? Um, well, one thing that you know we maybe the township residents don't know is that we get what's called state revenue sharing, and every year we're told that state revenue sharing is decreasing. So we have to be a little bit more conservative in our spending, I believe. Um, we really need to um, look at what is necessary to run a township. And I just feel that right now, I mean, due to the two incidences we had with the reappraisal costing us money and the lawsuit that we were involved in, we really, really need to buckle down a little bit. I'm not saying that the township's in financial trouble at all. I don't want you to get that impression, but I just think we need to start curtailing our expenses a little bit. Thank you. Okay, this is the final question. What is the current salary of the treasurer and how many hours per week are you working? We'll start with Ms. Little. Current salary of the treasurer is 20000 I believe $300 a year. I work three days a week when tax season is not upon me. Other than that, I work when I'm trying to print tax bills and because taxpayers are coming in more often, I try to work at least four days a week. The state does not mandate that I work anything but I believe four days out of the entire year in the office. As an elected official, you cannot be ordered to work in the office. Um, but I choose to do that because I think it's important for the township residents to have someone available to help them when they need the help. That when they come in to pay their taxes, when they come in to have you know, a zoning question if the zoning administrator is not available. You know, we all try to be helpful to all the residents. So I do work three days a week in the office. Okay. Uh, Ms. Arnie, is there anything you would like to add? that same question, the current salary and the hours per week. I just want to thank somebody for asking that because I honestly didn't know. <laughs> so that's good to know. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Um, and we had seven questions asked to the treasurer, the treasury, treasury, treasury candidates. I uh, appreciate that. And we are now going on to uh, closing statements. And so I believe we start with Ms. Ernie. I, uh, again, want to thank you all for coming out and, and the league for sponsoring the event tonight. Um, I just uh, want to reiterate that um, I want to keep taxpayer dollars um, where it belongs in the taxpayer pockets like to keep the government out of your business, both literally and figuratively, as much as possible. Uh, I again want to uh, mention I, I'd like to make government documents readily available online. Um, and I'd like to uh, provide friendly and courteous customer service to uh, township constituents. 
And I uh, thank you again. Well, I too would like to thank you all for coming out. I think this is an important forum tonight. Um, I also want to thank you for allowing me to serve as your treasurer for the past six years. And I hope I can continue as your treasurer. But if I can't, I thank you all for your vote. And I think it's very important that we vote. If you don't vote, you know, it's your fault if something goes wrong sometimes. So I just want to say thank you. And again, thank you for coming.